and since you know that we will develop this flutter project with getx so for that purpose let's go to the pubspec.yml and add our getx dependency so go to the browser okay open up your favorite browser and simply go to the site which is pub.dev okay pub.dev site and here search for the dependency get which is for getx flutter getx this one okay open screen snack bar dialogs without context manage stats and inject dependencies easily with getx so click on this get and then here you can see this is the getx stat manager navigation manager dependencies manager which is very fast stable extra light and powerful flutter framework number one most like flutter package is basically the getx that's why we are developing this project with the getx so anyways click here on installing and then just copy this dependency and then come back to your project and inside the pubspec.yml after the cupertino icons just paste that dependency here remember do not give any extra space forward or backward okay this dependency must be this or the other dependency which we will later i mean which we will use in this course here this must be in proper alignment with this cupertino icon c as you can see here okay g is in proper alignment with c you can see here the indentation so anyways once you pass that click on pub get if you give any space forward or backward then you will get error okay that's why i told you guys to uh, follow the proper indentation that is proper alignment so getx dependency has been installed successfully in our project in our flutter project so now we can use getx in our this flutter cloth app so now let's just go back to the main dot dot and we will say return get material app and then here we can say return future builder builder context comma data snapshot and we will return our first screen for now which is basically the login screen okay this one class login screen and make sure to write here inside the man that is widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized which is required for when we set up the flutter project for the first time okay so it is important to ensure initialized for the widgets flutter binding otherwise sometimes i mean if you do not write this line of code then basically whenever we start the app sometimes we get an empty white screen so just to avoid that empty white screen we ensure we uh, initialize the widgets flutter binding here inside the man so anyways now we are ready to test the application so i will open up the emulator nexus phone emulator if you have any phone you can just open up the android emulator and then here you can see the simulator is opened successfully now i will click on this play button in order to install our flutter cloth app on this emulator so the app is running now successfully on our phone you can see that and it is displaying our first screen which is basically the login screen where we display in the app bar this title which is login screen okay you can see that now this banner you can see okay we do not need this to display okay that is debug okay so in order to remove that after the title we have a property which is by the name debug show check mode banner and set this to false so it will basically remove that banner from it okay that debug banner and also the theme data or you can say the default color of our app you can set that from here so for now we will go with the default color which is purple 